bent flip top desk, perfect for your American Girl dolls or other 18 inch dolls. It's a cheap project, um, but the end result is really cute and very realistic. So the, for today we'll need um, a wooden book. I got mine at Michael's. Um, they are $4.99. And I have two wooden dowels. They're half inch square and uh, 24 inches long. You'll need two of those. Um, you're going to need a pencil, something to measure with. I use my um, protective measuring cutting mat here. I use wood glue and a handsaw, an exacto blade, some scrap wood that is about the same height as your um, the inside of the wooden book, just a little bit less than the height of the inside of the book. We're going to use this as a divider. You're also going to need sandpaper, um, and I use a paintbrush to apply the wood glue for less mess. So first, I'm going to measure my legs to the desk out of these dowels. They're going to, the legs are going to be eight inches a piece, so I'll get three legs from one dowel and um, one for the other. So I will measure out my legs, eight inches. You want to make these um, precise because you don't want your desk to wobble. No doll wants a wobbly desk. So there we go. Um, I'll set this aside. And using my hand saw, just carefully, carefully saw through. Now I'm going to so now looking at this book, you're going to notice that it opens up. This is going to be the top of your desk. This is going to be the inside. We're going to put a divider here. But to attach these legs, we're going to cut out notches from the side so that they um, the legs sit flush against the side, and it's going to make your desk more stable. To do the notches, we're just going to take our pencil and measure out using. I'll open this up. So I'm going to lay the leg flush to the back of the book and I'm going to just make a little mark. This is the notch I'm going to cut out. I'm going to do the same thing to the front, just slightly behind the front of the desk. I don't want to cut the notch flush with the front because it'll make this front um, edge easier to snap off. Now that I have all of my lines drawn to mark my where my notches will be, I'm going to carefully use my handsaw and cut along the line.
Now that all the lines have been cut with the handsaw, I'm going to carefully take my X-Acto knife and score along the back edge of the notch, flush to the side of the book. to try to snap off these tabs. They should easily just snap. Okay, now all of our notches have been cut. I'm just going to gently sand them and make sure that there's no extra little splinters or anything that could snag on clothes or skin and hurt somebody. Now they're nice and smooth. I'm going to take our the legs and I'm going to use wood glue to glue them completely flush to the side of the book, soon to be desk, like so. Now I want to glue the back leg first, the, this back leg first. I like to use a paintbrush and, let me get this out of the way, a paintbrush. I like to put a little wood glue on a paper plate or something, um, some sort of palette and use a paintbrush for it just so it doesn't get uh, too messy. My wood glue, um, the bottle is a little bit broken um, so it comes out all at once. I'm just going to brush on some wood glue on the back. Make sure to get enough, but not too much. You don't want it oozing all over the place. And I'm just going to take my leg and mount it flush to the back and just a hair underneath the top of the desk. You don't want it to go over the top of the desk because then your desk top will have trouble closing. Okay. Now I'll do the rest the same. While your desk is drying, you can insert your divider very carefully, just a six and a half inch uh, piece. Just add some wood glue to the bottom and to the sides and put into your desk. I put mine in, so this will be a nice divider so your doll can put um, her books and her other supplies separate. And now we will just wait for the desk to finish drying. So here you have the finished desk. I'm going to put it next to this American Girl doll so you can see for size reference. Um, it's a really good size for an American Girl doll. And then inside I just... You can see how you can fit a lot of school supplies and um, 
we're really excited for our dolls to use them so I hope you enjoy and I hope you make these desks for your own American Girl dolls